Okay, here I am back with the caucus campaign, GMT Games, turn three. First, first uh, access move. We move some guys up here. We've got two, 10, 12 versus two, six to one. We get uh, an upshift for uh, quality difference. Actually, maybe we don't because that's gray, so, and that's brown, so that is not gonna be a difference. They're both regular. But we do get an armor plus, that's going to be one for that. So six to one, seven to one. And we roll a four on this attack. And that's an A1, D1 on a seven to one. And not only that, the defender gets to choose. So he's going to knock out half, uh, or I guess two fifths of a division, a division. So what would that be? A full regiment as we knock out this cavalry unit over there. And we advance one hex. Seven to one. I'm having a hard time with this combat table. And, uh, you know, someone commented to me online, well, you know, the designer, you know, it's never a guarantee, blah, blah, blah. I'm all about that. That's fine. In fact, when you look at a, a more uh, complex system, or involved system, rather, like OCS, you know, you, you get lots of random changes with uh, efficiency ratings moving attacks uh, up and down the column shift. So you might have uh, a 10 to 1 attack that could drop back down to a 6 to 1 attack because you don't get surprise, or whatever the case may be. But here, uh, we don't have any of those factors. All we have is raw ratings uh, and, and odds. And, you know, we're at, what did I say, 7 to 1? So let's just call it, even if we're at six to one. So in fact, at six to one, without the column shifts, I would have been, uh, would have been happier taking a D1 result than an A1, A1, uh, A1, D2 result. Because, you know, I'm attacking one unit. So it just didn't work to my benefit as the, as the overwhelming attacker. And I know that this can happen with many different systems, but... In a game like this, with a mere handful of units each, I mean, this is the core of the army right here. Everything you can see right here, pretty much, except for two divisions to the top left. You can't afford to lose steps. And when you're rolling for replacements, uh, let's see. You know, I need a five or a six. Basically, I need a five to pick up a mechanized. So one in six chance of picking up mechanized. I've lost three mech steps because as the defender in an A1, D2 or an A1, D1, of course I'm going to take the mech, right? Because that the mech uh, change is actually more significant. It's 10, drops down to a six, so it's a 40% reduction in uh, power. So you're down to a 60% of the strength rating of the... I nearly cheated and put that guy back. Uh, of the division. Anyway, I'll keep playing for a little while. We'll see. I, I'm not, uh, I, this game's not doing a whole lot for me. It's cute. Not, and I don't mean it cute in a dismissive manner either. I just, uh, I, it's just not that interesting. It, you know, we're trying to get zones of control around guys and move. Um, I feel like I'm playing an old SBR game with a very uh, involved movement chart that requires me to have a summary table for it because we have movement, extended movement, strategic road movement, rail movement, and, and well, sea movement doesn't really count, and then mobile assaults. So, and it's all fine. Put it on a little table and it's all done. I downloaded it and printed it off. Someone went to the trouble of working that out. I would actually like to have seen on the tables here a a table for supply as well for the uh, just the various conditions you know, moving, uh, counting supply out of a swamp, out of a mountain hex versus through a swamp, through a mountain hex. Is it full, limited, or none, et cetera, et cetera. That would be nice. That could have been maybe put on the terrain effects chart. That might have been handy. Is it on here while I'm shooting my mouth off? No, it's not. So anyway, it's all good. Later.